four doubling times more would have led us to an absolutely catastrophic situation. You said in module two that, well, you were asked this, what was the understanding as to what would likely happen to the NHS if a lockdown were not imposed? And you said, well, I think that the first thing was going to get to the point where it got no longer able to function in any sense close to normal. Um, taking that answer and the aim to try and minimise the number of direct and indirect, do you think that we achieved that aim? Well, I think that uh, I'm going to work backwards from what it would have happened if we'd gone further. I think the key thing to, under, to remember, and I think people forget this, uh, is that this was an exponentially rising, uh, in the technical sense of the term, an exponentially rising thing with an epidemic with a uh, doubling rate of three to four days at the point we were talking about. Uh, four doubling times more would have led us to an absolutely catastrophic situation. Now, I'm not saying that where we were was anywhere short of incredibly uh, difficult and in many places, individual elements of hospitals, individual hospitals, individual bits of the system were coping nowhere near uh, where they would be uh, if COVID wasn't there. That's self-evidently true. But, that, but if we had not had the lockdown, the expectation is that would have got a lot worse. I don't mean just trivial worse, but really quite substantially worse. Do you think that the NHS was able to function? Well, I think that's, that makes it sound quite binary. I mean, the NHS continued to treat sick patients throughout. It continued to treat people who did not have COVID throughout. In fact, in most, I think at all times, actually, there were more people in hospital who did not have COVID than had COVID. I think certainly for the great majority, I'm sure there were places where that was not true, wasn't true in many ICUs, as we heard this morning, mm. but more generally. So, uh, you know, there was still a functioning health service. It was clearly functioning at well below the capacity that it would have normally. And I think, you know, just to make a slightly wider context, in a normal winter, the NHS is very, very strained. And uh, Lord Darcy has just done a report. I'm not going to go into that in detail, but just making the point, the NHS is under strain in every year, even prior to COVID. This was a very major, and this is the largest, uh, as you know, med medical emergency since the Second World War in a high-income country. Uh, and this, uh, this, this made the system really not work anywhere near as effectively as it would if COVID had not been there. But that's self-evidently true. Yeah. If, if, if that were not the case, it would be extraordinary.